Yeah. One is the carefully planned, considered decisions, yeah. uh, where you have a roadmap, or yeah. you've at least at least you've got time to think about think things through. And the other ones are yeah. more spot of the moment decisions, which mm -hmm. smaller companies tend to have because they can be nimble, they can change yeah. course, they've got more stimulus yeah. to change course as opposed yeah. to a larger organization where you can't just turn the ship around. Yeah. So those are completely different situations, and 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 many people who are great at uh, strategizing, so to speak, you know, yeah. uh, typically the McKinsey consultants kind of people, yeah. you know, great to lay down the roadmap. But then the issue of execution is where you need to stand firm or not firm, change or not change. Right. So that kind of decision making, where you know, it's part of the moment. Yeah. What is the difference between the people who are uh, who, whom you have worked with who are very successful versus who are not? Or rather, how do you operate on those situations? Yeah, um, you know, I think the uh, the kind of person who is successful in the uh, the the spur the spur of the moment uh, environment you described, um, it's in my experience, it's generally been someone who's been pretty clear about the longer term direction or the vision of what they want to go for. Um, so let me give you an analogy. Let's say you're you're playing football. You're a quarterback on a on a team. And there's a lot of stuff happening very, very quickly right around you. But you know, generally, the direction you're headed, you know you're supposed to put the ball into the end zone, you know where the end zone is, and you know that it's about 50 yards away. How exactly you get there? Not entirely clear. You, know, you throw a pass, do you go to the left, do you go right, do you hand the ball off? Um, none of those decisions are obvious uh, before you start the, uh, the play. And uh, a lot of those decisions will have to be made based on information that, that comes up around you. Um, but that's okay as long as you're not you're not really changing course. You're adapting on an existing course to make adjustments along the way to, to accommodate new information. And if you have a very clear direction and clear strategy, you know what your company stands for, you know what it is and what it isn't, um, you know what the competition is, you know what your value proposition is, you know what your customers want. You can make a lot of different decisions, test, learn, be creative, problem solve, but continue to head down that the head, head down the field and, and hit the football in the end zone. Um, and so you have to be able to offer some kind of guidance, some kind of center, some kind of direction, some kind of vision in order to be successful. I think people around you uh, need that vision. Um, they need to know what the company is. They need to know consistent metrics. They need to know consistent vision and clarity of thought. And with that direction, they will then go and adapt and make some, you know, some very fast decisions that you may not expect. But that's a lot of how innovation happens. Um, in the, in the other context, the, uh, the more steady, um, generally larger companies, the McKinsey Consultant approach, um, I think that kind of quick, adaptive, trial and error thinking isn't, isn't always as important. Um, but you do then have to have people who are able to see a, a, a big picture, lay out a number of different options, um, explore all those options in a lot of depth and detail. Um, because once you, once you set a big company in motion, it is very hard to move that company off that direction. So the direction they pick better be the better be the right one, and in order to really feel like it's the right one, it's got to be a, a very well thought through, consistent, organized strategy, um, and that just takes it takes a lot of work and it takes a lot of uh, um, critical thinking and just a lot of uh, very very well planned with dependencies with requirements, um, a, a, essentially a preset roadmap that will that'll, that'll survive for at least a 12 month period. And, and you rightly said the, the clarity of vision and clarity of thought, that's, yeah. that's paramount because it's so easy to get distracted in a small organization. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. You, know, you, it you, you, you decided this is my strategy and all of a sudden you get a potential project that's 25% you know, yeah. of the revenue, yeah. uh, current revenue, and then you, you, you can't say no. Yeah. Or you don't feel like saying no. Yeah. And you might well feel that, okay, that direction is just as good, perhaps that strategy is what we ought to adopt. Yeah, and um, and that happens. Now, do you find in your experience that executives who are not that clear, who are not that focused, mm -hmm. and tend to perform uh, worse than the others, even though they may be very intelligent? I mean, you can have IQ to the bazoo, but that's a different trait. Um, yeah, I think especially for CEOs, it's uh, it's it's not just about how smart you are. It's being able to communicate that vision to a broader team. And like in the case of eBay, you've got to get 15, 16,000 people running in the same direction. And that is, that is difficult to do. And even if, you, even if you have the right answer, and even though you are able to adapt to uh, changing environment or competitive threats, um, if you're not able to communicate that to a broader team and bring them along, then you're not going to be successful. And I think in, in my experience, what I've seen 
Um, our CEOs do very, very well. The ones who've been successful, um, Meg Whitman and now John Donahoe, they have been very consistent in their messaging from quarter to quarter, from year to year. Um, they will evolve and adapt to thinking. They'll make adjustments along the way, but they really do stay true to what their what their initial vision is. And when the, when that vision no longer no no longer seems to work um, or no longer holds, they, they actually decide rather than trying to uh, try to change things in a very very uh, rapid manner, um, they really take the time to communicate a different strategy throughout the whole organization, in a way that sometimes takes a long time and and feels like it's it's uh, it's uh, not not very productive. But I think it actually is necessary to getting a, an entire organization unified behind one clear thought and one clear vision. Movement. Yeah. Uh, you've never worked with...